Hello and welcome back to Strategic IT Solutions. Today we will discuss AWS Certificate Manager. AWS Certificate Manager, also known as ACM, is a service that AWS provides that lets you easily manage, provision, and deploy your public and private SSL certs. And this is used with any of AWS services and any of your internal connected resources. So um, ACM, it benefits you because it removes any type of time consuming manual process of having to purchase and upload and renaming SSL certs because you can set it to automatically renew. And also it is free. So you don't actually pay for that certificate, you just pay for the resources that it's using to run. So any resources, such as um, Elastic Load Balancers, um, CloudFront, API Gateways, any of those AWS resources that requires a certificate, you can basically just provision um, a certificate in ACM and you can apply it to those resources. You only pay for the resources and you don't actually pay for that certificate. If there is a private cert, then there's a monthly cost for those. So now I'm going to show you how you can actually provision your certificate through ACM. So you log into AWS and you will click on services and you can just type ACM certificate manager that comes up. And here you are presented with the AWS certificate manager and you're going to go and provision a certificate. We're not doing private certificate authority. We're provisioning a public cert, so we'll just click get started. Request a public certificate. My screen's a little bit small, so we'll just click request a public certificate. And now you're going to type in the name of that certificate. So we actually have a domain, um, Adventures of Gabby and Anthony. So I'm actually going to provision a certificate for that one. And I'm using this, um, I'm doing an example of this one just to show you guys how everything all integrates. Gabby and Anthony dot com. So you can actually create a SAN cert through AWS at no cost. And if you are familiar, you know that SAN certs can be very expensive um, and I'll just show you how. So here we're going to do um, asterisk dot adventures of Gabby and Anthony and this is basically a wildcard and you should know wildcard certs are also expensive and right here we're going to click add another name for this certificate and we're going to do www dot adventures of Gabby and Anthony. Now, when you have multiple domains on a certificate, that's considered a SAN cert. So you can use this cert for multiple websites. Um, so this is one of the great benefits of having um, your resources in AWS being able to use a free SAN cert, guys. Okay, and if you check GoDaddy, if you look at the cost for a wildcard cert, wildcard certificates will run you about a hundred and something dollars. Um, SAN certs with basically certs with multiple domains will run you about three hundred and some dollars. So being able to get this for free is absolutely amazing. And you don't have to use Adventures of Gabby and Anthony. I can actually add another domain here. I can actually add strategic. Strategic IT dot solutions. We can actually add that to it and So you can have multiple domains 
on this one shirt. I don't actually need this, so I'm not going to go ahead and do it. But I just wanted you guys to see that if you have a web server that's serving up multiple domains, you can totally do it all with one certificate. All right. Um, so I'm not going to add those. And we will proceed. Now, it's going to ask you how you want to validate your domain. You can do DNS validation. You can do email validation. The beauty of having your domain in AWS Route 53 is you're able to do DNS validation. And it's really quick and easy. So we will stick with DNS validation and then I will click next. So we're going to give this a name and we'll just call it Adventures of Gabby and Anthony. Adventures of Gabby and Anthony. All right. And we're going to tag it. We'll review. We want to make sure we spelt everything correctly because this is going to look for your domain in AWS. So you want to make sure you actually have this correctly spelt. All right. And then you confirm your request. Now you're not done yet because you need to do your validations. So if you click on the arrow and you see the name and the C name and the value, this will actually input this into Route 53 for you. So you would just click create record in Route 53 and you'll have to do this for each one of them. And continue. then we will click on the next we will do create record in route 53 and create i had to move my screen around there for you guys to see it then you can actually click and you see it says success and then you can click continue All right now you can actually go to route 53 and you will see those entries so now I can click services and route 53. I have two zones and I'm going to click on this zone. And here you see the entries that were created. So right here you see the C name that was created right here we see the C name and it shows the value so basically once you click create record that automatically inputted this into your zone in route 53 so we see it was added for us okay so I'm going to go back to um, ACM so you can take a look at that. And here's our history. We can just click back on certificate manager. And right now it is still pending validation. We just need to wait um, for that to complete and you can just refresh. So it does take a few minutes to complete. So we'll wait for that to complete. Okay. Um, refresh again, and it took about five minutes and we see that the status is issued and we see that it is not in use because I have not assigned it to any resources. Renewal eligibility, it says ineligible and that's because it's not actually assigned to a resource. Once this gets assigned, this will change to yes and renewal eligibility will actually say eligible 
and it will renew um, automatically if that's what I want. All right. So that's it. That is how you create um, a SSL cert through ACM. And please remember these certificates can only be used for resources that are in AWS. You cannot have your website on um, some other platform and try to um, use a cert from AWS. These certs cannot be exported. If you need a cert that is for resources that are not in AWS, then you need to go to some other certificate authority such as GoDaddy um, or register.com. There are some others, but um, just remember that it needs to be in AWS for you to use the cert from here. You can also import a certificate into AWS. So they don't have a problem with the import. They just don't allow you to export their certs. All right, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you found this video helpful and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.